Wednesday, right? It was Wednesday. Battlefield 2042 yeah. was announced. Uh, right. It is taking place in the near future, as they say. Uh, you know, it's it's happening. We thought it would happen. Uh, obviously, the rumor of it coming to Game Pass day one was not true, and that it was dropping this week was not true. Uh, Battlefield 2042 will not have a campaign. It will not have a battle royale. Uh, which I think a lot of people were surprised at, but it will include 128 player battles on next gen or on current gen systems. So if you want big player battles, that's where you're going to want to play that. Um, how do you guys feel about Battlefield? I think it it I'm not a Battlefield guy, but this is the it it was the most interested I was in Battlefield. But that's not saying much because obviously I just don't really care about battlefield but it, it looked like they were trying to take on call of duty head on and i think that setting it in a near future environment in a year where call of duty is rumored to be going world war ii is pretty smart uh no thing i'm gonna say about this is like i was really excited at first because i but i was thinking it was battlefield 2142 which in my opinion is one of the one of the best battlefield games because it's not the, the traditional formula now i was like oh 2042 and then i saw what it looked like and i was like oh man it looks good though but it wasn't what i expected i saw the 42 and i immediately thought it was like the next version of battlefield 2142 hmm. yeah i think that's what a lot of people thought at first too yeah so, it's like... so i was underwhelmed i was underwhelmed but this still looks good it still looks good yeah i'm yeah, totally game. here for this I'm, I'm more of a battlefield guy than a call of duty guy personally uh, I played an ungodly amount of uh, Battlefield 3 and 4. Really, really enjoy them. Obviously, I've kind of fallen off the Battlefield wagon because they did Hardline, Battlefield 1, and Battlefield 5, none of which interested me. Uh, but them not doing a Battle Royale, good. You can't compete with it. EA already has Apex Legends. They don't need another Battle Royale. Yeah. yeah. Doing a campaign, not doing a campaign, that kind of bums me because I really like the action set pieces that DICE does but I realize that I'm in an extreme minority of people who actually play those campaigns to completion. Um, I'm the guy who will, I play Call, I play Call of Duty for the storyline, guys. I don't play it for the multiplayer. And that's not a joke. Uh, but I, they probably looked at what Activision did a couple of years ago with Black Ops 4 and saw that it did not stop slowing down. People were actually really happy that there was no single-player campaign in that game. Mm -hmm. So I think when you take things like that into consideration, that's cool. I'm bummed that there was no actual gameplay. It was a six-minute cinematic trailer. Yeah. And yeah. we have to wait till the Microsoft show for Battlefield gameplay, which I think that's a little dicey because for me, ah, that all I confirmed. see what you did there. No, no, to me, we're all, but I, I, I get like, oh, it's to build hype. Like, it's probably part of the EA Play partnership with Game Pass. Like, I understand the, the logic behind this, but... To me, that screams that like a bigger sign for the Microsoft show. You might not get the Halo multiplayer reveal that everyone was thinking we were going to get, like we did with Five. Mm -hmm. They'll probably just say, "By the way, here's a new campaign demo. We're going to have the multiplayer beta available for you right after right. the show. We're not going to show two first-person shooter multiplayer reveals in the same show." You don't think they so, would do that? They they won't. That's what I'm saying. Like they're not going to oh, do that now. No. Well, and then you also have to assume we're getting at least another six to eight minutes of this with the Microsoft Showcase, too. I mean, right, which is the to... other thing I'm not overly jazzed about. Right. Um, I mean, like, they, they easily could have made their own event out of this. Like, I, I could, Call of Duty reveals their stuff in Warzone now, but I mean, you could have had, with all the build up they did to this reveal, there's no reason you couldn't have given us this trailer last month and given us the gameplay reveal on this past Wednesday. It feels like the gameplay going to Microsoft was probably a last minute move. Mm -hmm. Like Microsoft may have just delayed something out of the show and been like, Hey, we really need something. Would you guys want to bring this in? Cause so many people were like, it is happening the first week of May. And then it didn't happen. And Andy McNamara over at dice had to come out and say, Hey guys, we're really sorry. We were planning on it this week. Uh, we're doing it in three weeks though. So we'll see you guys like the first week of June. And that was just like really weird PR coming from dice of all people. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I um, do like in the chat. I do like in the chat. TNT and three just said, uh, you know, God strength is modern warfare, or at least Cold War. Era. If Battlefield tries to go down the same path that like Cold War is, I've been back into Cold War for the last week or so, and it's and I'm 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 back to having more fun with Call of Duty than I've had since like Modern Warfare. I mean, this game like where Call of Duty is at right now, I don't think it can be toppled as far as an FPS. So like. 
Battlefield Unless they go to World War II. Even Ooh. then, I think they're fine. Did do people did people mm. like World War Two when it came out? It, the people loved it. I played it when it was when it, I, for the first six, six seven months that it was out. The issue with World War Two was that they had one gun that was extremely OP, and it took them two months to fix it. It was like this flamethrower that was supposed to be a special. It didn't end up being a special. It, you could use it as a secondary weapon or as an attachment, and yeah, it, people hated that. But the maps in World War Two are phenomenal. The maps were outstanding. Um, I, 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 I'm loving it. Okay. Uh, Lamont, did, did, did you, did you, what did you think about Battlefield? I'll be honest with you. I've never played a Battlefield game in my life. Um, I'm probably more Call of Duty than anything. Mm Mm-hmm. But I'm definitely willing to try Battlefield out. It's it really looks pretty good. Yeah, I mean, if you if you have Game Pass Ultimate, you get that 10 hour demo, right? Because yeah. you get EA Play in it. So you do. Yeah. Yeah. You get the, okay. yeah there's a okay. 10 hour demo if you have EA Play or Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, uh, or I guess EA or- Origin. Is that what it's called still, or is it still, is it just called EA Play? Origin. Okay. Origin. I thought, I thought it was EA Access. What? No, it's they EA changed Play. The they changed the that point. to EA Play. So, oh, okay. I, uh, either way, you you get that ten hour demo. Uh, if you have Game Pass or EA Play, you get that ten percent off if you decide to purchase it. Yeah. Uh, so there's they're they're really. Oh yeah, I need that. Yeah, <laughs> I I think they're really trying to get people in the into this game, and I bet this game comes to Game Pass faster than you think it will. You know what I mean? Like I, I really feel like, especially. <laughs> Especially, like, if it's coming out in October, I'm pretty sure Call of Duty will probably end up at the last week of October. Halo's coming out in November, right? We, Josh, we've talked about this, too. That's yeah. why probably a lot of the reason why Destiny got out of the way, right? Yep. Uh, uh, yeah. So, I mean, it looks neat. I'm willing to try it out. If I get 10 hours of free demo, that's probably all the time I would probably put into it anyway, so... Right. Uh, I mean, sure. t- t- if you don't know after 10 hours if you want to keep playing a multiplayer game or not, spoilers, then, uh, you don't I don't to. know what to tell you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> spoilers, you don't, you don't need those able. 10 hours up right away. Like, you can play a few, and if you if the game's super broken and needs patching, come back like a month or two later and pick up the rest of your demo. Yeah. Um, um, you're not into multiplayer without telling me you're not into multiplayer. God. <laughs> uh, 